Hi, this is Chris again, and uh, today I'll show you another part of the uh, Steam Radio app for iPhone and iPad tutorials. Now, uh, on the last show, uh, you have been seeing how to get by on the start screen, and uh, I've been telling you that there's um, 16 radio broadcasting stations on the front dial. Now, um, Many of you might have asked, hey, it's only 16 stations. Man, this other radio app I got on my phone has about hundreds of them. Well, the good news is we have hundreds too. Um, it is just that you need to configure them to reside on the front dial if you want to use them. Now, today I'll show you how to do this. Um, now, once you have started the radio app, um, you hit the toolbar icon here and you go to the back side. Now here it's saying, clicking like button shows here, which this means is the logos shown here, the logos of the radio broadcasting stations, they will show up on the front dial. Now currently this is empty, so the app uses pre-selection of whatever it thinks might suit best to your local speech and language settings and country settings. Now. Here you have a broad list of, uh, actually uh, in the next release it will be over 400 stations where you can select to uh, reside in the front dial and you do this by just clicking the like button for example um, and it will show up here. Now let's just uh, select a few, France. Now if you click back on the radio here it will go back to the front page and you'll see the stations here. They start here and go around there and then you can select those and you have your favorite radius on the front dial. Pretty easy. Now if you think, well, um, I've tried this station but I don't want to get rid of it from the front dial, no problem. Just drag, take it away, off it, uh, gone it is. So, see? Very easy. Another way to remove it would be uh, if you see uh, this check mark here and you want to uh, remove it from the favorite list, uh, you just click again and it's gone as well. Now, you might say, hey, this is a hell of a lot of radio stations, I can't find anything. Now, we have different ways in finding your favorite radio stations. One is just by clicking the uh, magnifier glass on the top, there's a search. Um, search uh, field where you can enter text for a station you want it. You know, let's say you're looking for blues. Let's type in blues. Now it's the list is filtered uh, for every station that has the word blues in it. So um, that's that's pretty neat. Here's one from Canada, from Belgium. Okay, let's say this is it. And now um, maybe you're into metal too. Let's say metal. There's a few from Sweden and US, uh, Sweden, like that one. Now, that's, that's one way in finding your stations. Another way is to filter by country. For this, you just click this button. It will show up a list uh, of countries just supported in the app. So, um, let's say you want to have something from Germany. Now the list is filtered for only German stations and uh, let's try something else, uh, say uh, you want a certain language and then there's here's a couple languages, say in French. Now you get only the French stations and you can actually combine both. Now if you have Germany and French there's probably not one existing, that's right, but uh, if you are selecting Switzerland. Uh, where is it? There. And French. Now we got the Swiss speaking, uh, the French speaking Swiss channels. So that's for filtering. Now, one button here on the right hand side is also if you want to find new stations which are popular, there's a hot list. Now, this is compiled by usage of users, how often they listen to uh, those stations. and. The neat thing is you can also filter these by country and language. So they get you get the most popular stations from your local area. Now 
Um, you have a few more buttons on the top here. So one is saying noise. So if you activate this, it will uh, play static noise when you switch stations, like this. To, uh, to get the real old-fashioned feeling. Now, some people reported me that they're kind of annoyed by this uh, static noise, so you, you can switch it off. Um, now, this uh, wireless logo here, um, this one thing, if you're in a, uh, not a uh, Wi-Fi network at home, but uh, you're like uh, somewhere else where it doesn't have uh, high bandwidth uh, internet, so you have to use the, your carrier data plan to, um, to listen to radio. If this is activated, the app will actually stream radio in your wireless uh, carrier network as well. Now if it's deactivated, it will warn you um, that it might, um, when you select a station, that you, it might cost you some, some money on your data plan. So if you want to be on the safe side, deactivate this so you only um, use a uh, data amount of your IP traffic wherever it is uh, available. Now we have used this, it's the search, uh, search field. Now with the plus you can add own radio streams. Uh, if you have one which is not on the list and want to listen it, uh, to it with uh, Steam Radio, no problem, you can add it here. But I'll show you how to do this in another show. Now this question mark shows the help which you have probably used to watch this. That's it for now and uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon or talk to you soon, hear you soon and always keep playing Steam Radio. Have fun. Bye bye.